Hi there, it's Tim, Golf 5 Tango Mike, and uh, we're going to look today at my attempt at a stealthy Envis antenna for 40 metres. tuning in again if you're a regular viewer or if you've been here before and if you're brand new to the channel then think about clicking that subscribe button and that notification bell for any future videos. So I'm going to be having some work done at the QTH over the next few weeks uh, which will involve hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, the building of a sort of newish shack for me, a more permanent shack uh, for use at the, uh, the home uh, location here. So I've had to take down the uh, the NFED half wave uh, as it was mounted, which was quite high-ish. So what I've got undone, I've gone and thought of an alternative configuration for it, maybe for the duration of the build. And uh, it's basically very, very low, <laughs> all right? So it's not gonna be a DX pileup buster. It's the NFED half wave mono bander, and literally it's gonna be around six to seven feet off the ground throughout its whole run. It's going to be running around the garden, okay? Effectively a fence high antenna, which I hopefully will do very well for short, uh, sort of short scale contacts, for NVIS, Envis, and also as a stealth antenna as well. So I thought it would take a couple of boxes and I thought I'd show you what I've done about putting it together and uh, we'll have a look and see how, it, uh, how well it does. So first of all, let's take a look at how it's been configured out the back there. So uh, in between the storms, we've been uh, going out and looking at possibly putting up a, um, a bit of a stealth antenna here or trying some experiments out. So uh, this is what we've been doing. Here's the uh, former shed shack. You can see this wire coming in. And it's coming into the uh, mono bander for 40 meters, UK antennas coming down and out at the bottom of the door. Nice thin wire, 125 watts, no problems at all. Does 100 watts I, that I put through it. And it goes up here. And then down to a little corner piece I had on from my 80 foot doublet a while ago. And the wire, whoops. You see it goes down to the end. And then goes across to, let me show you. It's absolutely pouring down here today. Just about to see the wire there. So it's going across the guttering. And you can probably see the most visible part is here. And then across to about there. And that's about uh, well, a much shortened version. It's about uh, altogether about 63 feet because of its lowness, lower proximity to the ground. It's no more than six foot high at any point. So between the storms and the rain, it took about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes to put together and to put up. Now that's been done, uh, let's have a look at some contacts that I made uh, just earlier this evening, because that all happened out there this afternoon. And the good news is there was a bit of short skip around, a, bit, a little bit of what we call inter-G in the UK. Nice short skip, about a couple of hundred miles and uh, I made some nice little contacts with it. So uh, let's have a look. India, uh, Tim, over. Ah, Oscar November 8, Echo India. I hope you're keeping well. I think that's John, isn't it? I'm just going completely by memory here. John, yes, I recognise the call. I well, hope you're keeping well, John. You're 5 nine plus. Lovely signal to the south coast. Go ahead. Well, thank you, uh, Tim. You're also 5 nine plus uh, with me. And um, I'm one of your biggest fans on YouTube, over. Oh, bless you, mate. Well... <laughs> well, I'm actually recording this. Uh, uh, the G3 go again. Germany 3, Tango, Germany, Bravo. Yeah, T uh, Germany 3, Tango, Germany, Bravo. Good evening. That's Brian, isn't it? Hello, Brian. Nice to work with you, Tim, this way in West Sussex. You're, uh, you're booming. 5-9 plus, go ahead. Yeah, Golf India Zero, Charlie Whiskey Victor. Uh, thank you for your call, sir. Good evening. You're nice and strong. Uh, I think 5'9 plus. Uh, name is Tim, down on the south coast of England, over. Yeah, good evening, Tim. You're 5'9. Very noisy this end, unfortunately. Give me a lot of. Uh, 5'9, I have much better QRF than you. I have S9 QRM. However, you are just above the noise. 
So I just thought I'd come back and say very good evening to you, Tim. G5 TM, M0 XMX, over. Yeah, M0 X. Yeah, we got you. Two mic zero, whiskey kilo Charlie mobile. Okay, about five and five, fifty five over. Roger, Carl, no problem. You're the same. Lovely strong signal. Five nine here into West Sussex, uh, near the town of Bognor Regis. And I have my square for you if you want it. It's uh, Sugar United 9-0. Sorry, sorry, Sierra Uniform 9-0. Go ahead. Roger, roger. The Sugar Uniform 9-0. That is beautiful. Thank you very much, Tim. We're an avid collector. This side. Wish I had a ticket. Yeah, it seems to be doing quite well. I'm only running the call. Thank you. This is Golf 5 Tango Mike listening. Mike India 5, Uniform Tango Charlie. Mike India 5, Uniform Tango Charlie. Now, I know this person very well. Uh, good evening to you, and I hope you're uh, keeping very well, Sid. Hello, Tim. Good to catch you here on 40 tonight. Conditions are very good, actually. And you're 5 and 9 with me, solid 59. And... Uh, the conditions are being good. Uh, G5 PM. Yeah, is that Mike 5 uh, Yankee Echo X ray, Rog? That's it, you got it in one. The name's Bob, brother of the brothers. I'm up on the East Coast, uh, probably about 5 miles northeast of the city of Lincoln. I wonder where you are. Mike 5 YX, G5 PM. Yeah, MP 140 in listening. Mike Zero, Mike Zero, Whiskey Golf India. Yeah, uh, is that a Mike Zero Whiskey Golf India, Roger? Roger, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger, good evening to you, thanks for the call. I'll give you a signal report on your next over, but you're nice and strong. Uh, name is Tim, location is West Sussex, go ahead. Yeah, Roger, Tim, or coffee. You are signal 57, 57 to the south of Reading, south of Reading, Berkshire. My name is Asuti, Sierra, Tango, Echo. Well, there you are. A simple, low, stealthy antenna. Good on 40 meters for about 500 miles. Uh, some nice contacts there. And of course, 40 and 80 meters, basically that sort of height up to about 20 feet. You're not going to see much of a difference. Uh, you've got a nice bubble of RF, make some nice contacts up to about 500, 500 miles out, sometimes longer, sometimes you know you, you get longer distances as well, but generally very reliable for contacts sort of into, uh, into the central part of Europe and uh, within the UK when we have some short, uh, short propagation too. I always enjoy a bit of short propagation within the UK, it's quite fun to work that, especially on 40 metres in the summer. Anyway, hope that's given you some ideas and some food for thought for some stealth antennas of your own. And thanks for watching. This is Tim G5TM wishing you 7-3 and good luck with your stealthy antennas too. Bye-bye.